Hey everyone, it's Richard with Slimward, and today we have some mail call. It's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. I haven't really ordered much, uh, but today we got some mail call, and this one is from uh, let's see if we can... Wizards Quest Gaming. I don't want to put too much more info there. Whatever. Let's open it up. Get my trusty scissors here. And let's see if I can coerce this to open here. <laughs> The cards are at the bottom, so it should be okay. Get this thing open. Come on. There we go. Packing list. Oh, wow. And cards. Apparently, I ordered a magic card. Sometimes I do that and I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, man. They use that super strong tape on here. Um. Not crazy about this super strong tape because obviously it's really hard to get off, and I don't really have a blade near me right now that can open this. Oh man, this is really annoying. Like, I don't like this tape. Well, I'm just gonna start opening this. I should actually get a little blade because I have one somewhere. I guess I know where it's from. I can't listen here. Okay, crazy. Look at that. Ah, it works. All right, let's take these out. I can. Okay, let's get rid of that. We'll save the magic card for last. Well, actually, it feels like there's more than a magic card there. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Lots of stuff here. Let's see what we got. I do like to order multiples just in case, so let's see. There we go. You let it focus there. There we go. We got ourselves in Code Talker. And we've got two of those. A Honeybot. Um, I don't remember ordering these as commons, but I guess we got commons. Okay. Cyber Network. Three copies of that. This one says a little stuff on it. Okay. Put that over here. Let's see what we got next. World Legacy's Heart. That is a nice looking card. I actually really like that. Got a few copies of that. Nice. A lot of copies of that. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, <laughs> lots of copies. Okay, and then World Legacy Discovery. That's a nice looking card too. All right, what we got here? More, more World Legacy Discovery. Tenma the Sky Star. That's a little dot on there. That is. Got a few of these. Pumpkin Carriage! This is a card I've been looking forward to getting. This is, you may recognize this one from uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters during the uh, the Kaiba Grand Prix event. And I believe this was played by Leo. He played Pumpkin Carriage. I think I've got a couple of these. There we go. Metamore Formation. MP17. And then we've got our last cards here. Let's see what these are. I think there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card in here. Yeah, here it is. Ah, another meta, more for performer, performer. And then let's see what do we got here. Magic card. It's got a tiny bit of wear on the corners. What do we got? Life Lace. Nice looking card there. This is obviously an older card. Very nice looking though. It's actually in really good shape. Well, considering its age, it's in really good shape. I'll put that over there. Then I know what our last one is, to foil. Faded Conflagration. I know people are like, why would you get that card? It's not worth a whole lot. I know. But it was a foil, and it was dirt cheap. So I was like, I'm going to get it. Plus, it's a rare. And one thing I've noticed with some of the Magic the Gathering cards <clears throat> is not, not with every set, but every now and then there's a set that comes out. And even the rares that don't go for a ton of money, like you know, quarter rares or 50 cent rares, for some reason, the foils fetch a really nice premium. Like the rare itself may be only worth like a quarter, but uh, the foil version of that same rare sometimes goes for eight, you know, eight, nine, ten dollars. So I figured, let me get this one when it's cheap, which is exactly what I did. And then who knows, maybe a few years down the line, it'll fetch a nice little, little reward there for me. So that's a nice little uh, foil there. And this one, if I'm not mistaken, this is a revised. So I definitely want to put this one, in fact, I can put it right back here in the sleeve. There. And then I'll stick it back in this little holder. 
So yeah, I don't have a lot of revised cards, but I do have a handful. Another notable one I have is Fastbound, which is worth a few dollars. It's uh, worth like between six and 15, depending who you buy it from. But anyways, yep, that's our haul for today. Again, the Honeybots, I guess I ordered them. I, I sometimes make that mistake and I order commons not realizing that they're commons. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, these are pretty nice. I like these. I like the pumpkin carriage. Very nice looking card. And then, of course, the rest of the world's legacy. Oops, got other cards falling around here. But yeah, that's our nice little haul here. I do have another pack coming in, so hopefully I'll get that one in the next couple of days and I'll do another video. But until then, again, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, make sure you all check out the description for links to the website, links to our Patreon, links to our forums. Uh, all that other good stuff, make sure you all go ahead and check out the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the donations link as well, so I could probably do more of these videos like this, because honestly, these cards are not that expensive, um, so it doesn't cost a ton to do them, but I like doing the videos, just because, you know, it's nice to go through and, you know, order some cards and see what I can find, so, yeah, thanks a lot for checking out the video, guys, and I will see you all next time. The artwork on that.